All three drivetrains in this sequence are identical in every way, from the tyres and the suspension to the vehicle size and weight. The only difference is the drivetrain and distribution of power. All-wheel drive distributes the power to all four wheels. Front-wheel drive only distributes the power to the front wheels. And rear-wheel drive only distributes the power to the rear wheels. Traction, and therefore control, is directly related to the amount of grip your tyres maintain with the road surface. Each tyre has a maximum capacity, and the level of grip is dependent on the coefficient of friction between the tyres and the road surface. When too much power is distributed to the tyre, the tyre will lose grip and begin to spin and skid. When tyres spin or skid, traction and control is reduced. This means that when power is only distributed to two wheels rather than four, the two-wheel drive, when accelerating, will only have half the forward and cornering force of an all-wheel drive system. The net result is that the all-wheel drive system provides a higher traction and cornering capacity if driving conditions suddenly change or the corner turns out to be sharper than first expected. In wet or slippery conditions, having the driving force spread across all four wheels improves traction under acceleration, improving not only performance but also control. More driving force across all four wheels means greater control and confidence 